okay dear students in this video of part 2 of exercise 1.3 we are going to continue from question number 5 question number 5 find the product using suitable properties sub number a the given expression is 26 multiplied with minus 48 plus minus 48 multiplied with minus 36 here we can use distributive property of multiplication over addition this is the order of distributive property of multiplication now we will rearrange the given expression in the form of the right hand side of the distributive property here the order of 26 into minus 48 will be change it will be changed as minus 48 into 26 now this expression is rearranged in this order a into b plus a into c the value of a is minus 48 and the value of b is 26 the value of a is minus 48 and the value of c is minus 36 here in this expression we can take minus 48 as common so taking minus 48 as common since the value of a is minus 48 so it can be rearranged in this form a into b plus c a into the value of b is 26 the value of c is 36 minus 48 into 26 plus minus 36 is in the form of a into b plus c a into b plus c now adding the integers inside bracket minus n plus multiply becomes minus so we get 26 minus 36 26 minus 36 will get minus 10 the bigger number 36 is getting negative so it will be get it to the answer minus 10 so minus 48 and minus 10 multiplied we get plus 480 minus and minus multiply is plus 48 into 10 is 480 so the value of the expression is plus 480 sub number b 8 into 53 into minus 125 here we can find the product of the given integers using associative property of multiplication this is the order of the associative property of multiplication and the order of the given expression will be rearranged by exchanging 8 and 53 8 multiplied with 53 will be changed into 53 multiplied with 8 because the product of 8 and 53 is the same with the product of 53 and 8 so this expression will be arranged in the form of the right hand side of the associative property 53 into the product of 8 and minus 125 here the value of a is 53 and the value of b is 8 and the value of c is minus 125 the reason why we rearrange in this order multiplying 8 into multiplying 8 into minus 125 we get the product 1000 so multiplication by 1000 is easy so plus 53 multiplied with minus 1000 plus and minus multiplied becomes minus 53 into minus 1000 is minus 53000 sub number c 15 into minus 25 into minus 4 into minus 10 we can find the product of the given integers by regrouping in the form of 
associative property of multiplication here 15 minus 25 and minus 4 are arranged in the form of associative property of multiplication first we find the product of minus 25 and minus 4 so minus 25 and minus 4 multiply minus and minus multiply becomes plus 25 into 4 is 100 plus 100 plus 15 and minus 10 again regrouping 100 and minus 10 inside the square bracket so the product of 100 and minus 10 is plus and minus multiply becomes minus 100 into 10 is 1000 plus 15 multiplied with minus 1000 plus and minus multiply becomes minus 15,000 sub number D minus 41 multiplied with 102 we can find the value of the product of these two integers by using distributive property of multiplication over addition this is the order of distributive property of multiplication over addition here in this case the integer 102 will be split into two terms as the sum of 102 102 is the sum of 102 now we get the expression in the form of the left hand side of the distributive property in place of a we have minus 41 in place of b we have 100 in place of c we have plus 2 so this expression will again rearrange in the form of the right side of the distributive property in place of a we have minus 41 in place of b we have 100 in place of c we have 2 so a multiplied with b will be minus 41 multiplied with 100 plus a multiplied with c will be minus 41 multiplied with the value of c 2 so this expression is in the form of the right side of the distributive property now taking the product of minus 41 and 100 minus and plus multiply is minus 4100 plus and the product of minus 41 and 2 is minus 82 minus and plus multiply is minus now removing bracket we get minus 4100 and minus and plus multiply becomes minus minus 82 so now we have two negative integers so a negative integer and a negative integer will be added but we take the common sign minus 4100 adding 82 we get 4182 minus 4182 sub number g minus 17 multiplied with minus 29 here the product of the two integers can be found out by using distributive property of multiplication minus 29 is split into minus 30 and plus 1 if we are subtracting 1 from 30 we get 29 taking the sign of the bigger absolute minus 30 the value is minus 29 here minus 17 will multiply separately minus 30 and plus 1 minus 17 multiplied with minus 30 plus again minus 17 will multiply plus 1 minus 17 into plus 1 the product of minus 17 and minus 30 minus n minus multiply is plus 510 
17 multiplied by 30 is 510 plus is here and the product of minus 17 and plus 1 negative and positive multiply is negative 17 into 1 is 17 removing bracket minus and plus multiply becomes minus 510 minus 17 is 493 sub number 8 the value of the given expression can be found out by using distributive property of multiplication so the given expression can be modified in this form minus 57 and minus 19 are same but plus 57 can be modified in this form as a product of 57 and plus 1 because the value of 57 and into 1 is again 57 so it is split into as a product of 57 and 1 since minus and minus are multiplied we are getting positive sign here so negative sign are removed because the product of minus and minus becomes positive now from this expression we can take 57 as a common number taking 57 as a common from this term 57 is taken out and 19 is remained here plus 57 is taken as a common and 1 is remained here so the sum of 9 and 1 is 20 multiplied with 57 57 into 20 is 1140 Question number 6 A certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40 degrees Celsius at the rate of 5 degrees Celsius every hour What will be the room temperature 10 hours after the processing begins? Here the temperature before it is decreased that means the initial temperature here the initial temperature is 40 degrees Celsius that means the temperature before it is decreased initial temperature is 40 degrees Celsius and the rate of decrease in temperature every hour is 5 degrees Celsius so the rate of change of temperature is 5 degrees Celsius per hour and the total time taken to decrease the temperature is 10 hours so the change of temperature decrease in temperature after 10 hours can be calculated as multiplying the rate of change of temperature minus 5 degrees Celsius with 10 hours minus 5 into 10 is minus 50 minus 50 degrees Celsius so the question is asking what will be the room temperature after 10 hours so the final temperature after 10 hours can be calculated as the sum of the initial temperature plus and the change of temperature within 10 hours minus 50 degrees Celsius minus and plus multiplies minus so subtracting the two integers we get minus 10 degrees Celsius the sign is minus because the bigger absolute value is getting negative sign it will be carried to the answer minus 10 degrees Celsius so after 10 hours the temperature will decrease to minus 10 degrees Celsius question number seven in a class test containing 10 questions five marks are awarded for every correct answer and minus two marks are awarded for every incorrect answer and zero for questions not attempted sub number one mohan gets four correct and six incorrect answers what is his score out of ten questions mohan is getting four correct answer and six incorrect answers so we're going to find what is the total score of Mohan.
So the mark scored for one correct answer is 5 mark. Here Mohan is making 4 correct answers. So the total score for 4 correct answers will be 5 marks into 4 correct answers. 5 for the 20. Here in the equation, minus 2 marks are awarded for every incorrect answer. So the mark score for one incorrect answer is minus 2. Here Mohan is making 6 incorrect answers. So the mark scored for 6 incorrect answers will be minus 2 into 6 incorrect answers. Minus 2 into 6 is minus 12. <laughs> now the total mark scored for Mohan can be calculated like this. The sum of 4 correct answer plus the sum of 6 incorrect answer. So the total of 4 correct answer is 20 marks. And the score for 6 incorrect answer is minus 12. Taking the sum of 20 and minus 12. Minus and plus multiplies minus 20 minus 12. That is 8 marks. Mohan scored a total of 8 marks. So in this way, we will be able to find the total marks scored by Resma and Hina in sub number 2 and sub number 3.